Hannah Roberts is taking her high-flying talents to the Olympics. Being in the first Olympic category for BMX Freestyle, it's uh, kind of crazy. When it was announced and I was announced to the team, it was like, holy crap. You know, everybody's telling me it's history in the making. Hannah was the first female in BMX Freestyle to qualify for the Games but her love for the sport spans more than a decade. I first got into BMX when I was about eight years old. Learning had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of falls and injuries, but I just always loved it. Oh! As Hannah's coach, I take credit for that 100%. She met legendary BMX biker and her future coach, Ryan Nyquist, while doing what she loves. Ryan came to my local skate park. I was only like 10 years old. And she was she was just teeny. But on the bike, she wasn't teeny. She was already doing stuff that was just like super impressive. Do two this one. Three tuck, come back. Sure. Hannah is a dream athlete to coach. She's motivated, you know, she's focused not to mention like just insanely talented. I've come across many, many athletes, but none that has her drive. Ooh, great good. That was real good. That looks good. Everything looked good out there. Both Hannah and Ryan hope to leave an impact on the sport. BMX has been in my blood for a long time. I would love for my legacy to be that I was a good human being who could ride a bike pretty well. Right now, we're actually in my backyard. Um, we call it the nest. I have a nice little setup back here that we ride. Hannah actually comes at least twice a week. We do these like just little closed sessions where we just have this like nice positivity bubble where we just come back here and focus and progress, but also like laugh and have a good time. That's, that's what a good coach knows is the motivation of what you don't want to do, so I use that against you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> I've learned what motivates Hannah. I learned what drives Hannah, and I can use that to kind of dangle the carrot. If you're feeling double whip, like, I don't know, maybe take a couple approaches speed-wise. With Ryan behind me and coaching me up, it's really important. Because that'll give you a bit more time to get that second whip around. Okay. So. There's times where I doubt myself, and Ryan knows that I can do it. Cool. Yeah. Hearing those words and, like, getting advice from somebody, especially you know, a legend, it's taken me pretty far. Yes! I just want other young girls to be able to look at the sport, love it, and be like, I could do that if I put in the work, and, and that's what it's all about. I know you nothing. I'm just living my best life. I'm having a great time riding my bike, and I can't wait to throw down at the Olympics. I mean, that's really, that's really all it is.